Oh boys, come a on the control level. Yahoo, a Welcome to another edition of At the Club with Remy Martin. My name is Douglas Jakin, and on the show tonight, as we always say, we have a great show, a great interview. And a great personality on the show. I am so excited to have him with me in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me by putting your hands together and giving a warm round of applause to the one and only. I am looking for a wife. Uh, Mr. Olu <laughs> 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 That's, that's some up, trip. Bro? How you doing, man? Uh, thank you so much. That's some trip down memory lane. Dude, let me just start right away. It's been a long time coming. Well, 17 years? Yes, 17 years professionally since 1998. So, a lot of people who are listening to this show, by the way, were not born then. They were, or they were just about born then. Okay. But, Olu, um, you've been in the industry now for 17 years. And yes. And I know, or I would assume that if you took a deep look at the industry then yes. and now, yes. there is a sharp contrast. I'd like you to quickly summarize what it was for you back then. Right. And how it is for you now. Like, how you see the industry right now. Yeah. I mean, it's um, I mean one word, growth. It's 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 the only constant change in life. Yeah, growth and evolution. So, so some some sometimes sometimes because change, in order for the acceptability of change to be to be easily assimilated, it has to be gradual. It cannot be a contrast from the outside looking into your brand. You are being seen as burnt out. Or washed out unfortunately until you prove people wrong now hold that thought the reason why i've been asking these questions right. is because i'm going to break for a second and give them a throwback of what you guys used to do back in the days check out the wifey track oh let maintain help me sign this song on you and your former partner you right guys used to be on this track right i am looking for a wifey <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking for a wifey but i'm looking for a wifey by the group maintain Olu and Tolu. check yeah. it out on yeah. at the club with remy martin that's what's up we are back on at the club i'm back on the mic on at the club with remy martin douglas jaken in the building with my very special guest mr olu maintain yes sir now I, I, I was I was talking about the transition. Right. Uh, I, I talked a great deal about how people evolve from from one time to another, and and the, the importance of remaining relevant. Right. You mentioned that. Right. There was a point in time when right. you and Tolu decided to go apart. Right. It. it, it and it, what they say, you know, in in life. Um, I mean, had beginning and ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to sound like a broken record, but the only constant thing is change. True that. And the good thing about bad things is that it comes to an end. And the bad thing about good things is that at some point it also comes to an end. But um, I respected Tolu's decision because he was like, my brother, you have a lot of fire in you. I would rather let us go our separate waves and, and move in different directions than me slowing you down you have this passion in you you have this drive go get it and when i heard those words wow that was yeah. there was no stopping me yeah that's, that's that's pretty deep and i think that's an honest friendly um advice right there right olu maintain yahoo zay and for those y'all i mentioned earlier on some of y'all went born I, i'm sure y'all knew this song back then this was the party jammer this was the club banger back then all right, check it out. Olu Maintain, yeah, who's it? When we get back, we'll talk about how he even came about, you know, jumping, putting his verse on this track and on the sound itself, who produced it, all of that, and then where he's taking it from then onwards, okay? Stay with us on At The Club with Remy Martin. Hope you guys are having a great time. And remember, the best way to enjoy the show on a perfect Saturday evening is with a nice bottle of Remy Martin Defined Champagne Cognac. Stay with us. We are back on the mic on At The Club with Remy Martin, Douglas Jacob in the building with Olu Maintain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just checked out the one track that had everyone buzzing back in 2007, Yahoo In fact, I need to sing it right. Yahoo Olu, help yeah. me out real quick, man, because yeah. I don't even know how that song grew to become like the anthem. Mm. Because... I, well, I mean, if... 
I mean, for me, I mean, I have the fear of God in me because if there was ever any miracle that I've been a part of, that is that you know, song, right? Yeah, yeah, that song. Because, like I said, it was recorded in September 2006. Mm-hmm. I I took it to radio to try and promote it. Nobody would play it. Wait, wait, hold on. Stop. When you say you took it to radio to try and promote it, yeah, they listened to the song. They listened. They said they didn't want to. They, they, they didn't like it. They said they didn't like it. That, that it was it was it was trash. Okay. So could, so, it, could it could it be the fact that obviously when you say Yahoo's it? No, it had nothing to do with that. No. It had nothing to do with that because at that time, that was the dance that was that that the streets was that the street had endorsed mm-hmm. but it, it didn't it didn't catch on in lagos as far as lagos was concerned yeah, yeah. so everybody just listened to it and it just rolled their eyes that yeah they didn't they didn't care so i mean all through between september and december nothing happened up until february i got um i got invited to make a guest appearance in some club in Ilori. yeah so i traveled there and Oh, and behold, when that tune played in the club, it's still one of the craziest friendlies I've ever, frenzies I've ever experienced in my life. So here I am, I, here I am asking myself, like, how is it that this song is so big here, here and they're not even listening to it in Lagos? So when I came back, you know, I came back to Lagos, February 2014, nothing was still happening in Lagos. Lagos was still very quiet. Same year, 2007. Yeah. yeah. So, um... So I'm hearing stories that they're raving to the song as well in the battle that people are that it's on it's everybody's ringtone out of every 10 people eight people have it as their ringtones in a battle I'm like okay what's going on so in fact off of the song was so big in a battle that the producer of the song Puffy T because his signature was in the beginning of the song there was this guy that owned a the record label then in the battle it's called uh, Nero Records the guy signed Puffy T as a producer for about two million naira then and i was still broke damn <laughs> just off of him being on the, on the being that, on that, that, right the and, I, and i was so i'm like okay but i mean when they say you save the best for last true i mean that those are not just i mean my 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 true life experience just confirms that because all of a sudden i got a call from a guy that linked me up again that the marketer was looking for me called afro best I'm like okay so he came he said well you know you know your song is making a little bit of noise here and there so let me help you i'm like okay what you want to do so okay i want to buy the rights off the album so he now said he could offer me an upfront payment of five so in my mind i'm thinking five hundred thousand so i'm like oh, okay five hundred thousand i'm like no he has to come up i mean i can't do five i mean what's he talking about i mean let's even push it up to six and i made me realize look i'm gonna do the audio i'm gonna do the video you know so i mean five okay let's just stay in the middle let me do 5.5 5. i'm like okay <laughs> so 5.5 5 cannot be 500 and five, something five, five, that, five thousand. so i took him i took this guy because we had a meeting on Allen Avenue. Mm-hmm. So I took him to the Zenit Bank on Allen Avenue and I strolled into the bank. And I'm like, I want to open an account. I was like, oh no, you need warrant, you need shorties, you need two people to co sign. They said, what's your opening balance? I'm like, 5.5 million. They said, come upstairs. <laughs> Business so, floor. Exactly. So my bank account in Zenit Bank, my opening balance is 5.5. Off of not having. Five thousand naira to my name. Now that is, if that's not a success story, I don't know what it is. I mean, and off of him signing me, the rest is history. Hey, you know what? Hey, it's been chat. It's been really fun hanging out and, and chatting with Olu. Um, we're going to talk about the new record in a short bit. I quickly want to just touch on the three songs that we've talked about. In fact, the four of them. We're going to give you a quick medley of them. I right, so the naughty track. And when that came out, bang, amazing. And hypnotize two different sounds. We're gonna drop that for you. Enough of easy, and of course, uh, Olum Brazil. We're gonna throw a medley for you just to show you the transition of Olum Maintain and his sounds over the last four, six years now. Yeah. Say. yeah. All right. You listen to At the Club with Remy Martin. My name is Douglas Jake, and still, it is a beautiful Saturday evening. Hope you're having a great time with us. We'll be right back in a short bit. 
Olu, it's been a pleasure having you on. You too. Um, I hate to draw the curtain on the show, but it's it's been a pleasure. We're going to have to obviously drag you in some other time because I would still love to tinker and pick your brain on music generally. Not your music this time, but other sounds, other songs, other artists. Ladies and gentlemen, please, round of applause. Olu Maintain in the building. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great time. We're going to wrap up the show with his brand new single. We're going to play that for you. We threw in a little quick uh, medley for that. We're going to throw in a song right now. It's called Cinderella. Do check it out. It's out now online all over the place. Download it. It's requested on all the request shows. Yes, sir. Wherever you are, it is a song that should and would uplift your spirits. If you're a true artist, you would understand what I'm talking about. Have yourselves a great evening, and we will be back again on At The Club with Remy Martin next week, Saturday. God bless y'all. Olu. Thank you so much. Stay thank safe, you. Man. And thank you, the legend, <laughs> to Baba, for being on this track with that's me. That's right. That's Appreciate right. Appreciate that. Bless. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Douglas Jakin, and this is the behind-the-scenes footage of At The Club with Remy Martin. This is the edition where we had Mr. Olu Maintain in the studio with us, man. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you. You took me back in history, man. Back in time. Well, I mean, I did my best, you know. It's, um, I mean, I always, I mean, you're, you, you, I mean, you're a real G for one thing, and I consider you a friend, and it's an honor, honor. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hey, listen, we were just checking out some of the tracks he's about to push out, right? The new song Cinderella is out, but my God, you have no idea what this guy has in plan, has in store for the entire industry. I just watch his space. Follow him on Twitter, Mr. Ola Maintain. You got all, what other hand you got? Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, Instagram, Twitter, same, Mr. Olumentain. MR Olumentain, Mr. Olumentain. You got that. My name is Douglas Jakin. Always on social media, Douglas Jakin. You can find me. Have a good one. We'll talk to you all soon enough. Stay blessed.